Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at ya with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void! Today it's going to be a match between Ranged and Pig here on Parasite, the latter edition. Top left-hand corner from Dust Gaming, it's going to be the Red Protoss player. He's American and he is Ranged. And in the bottom right-hand corner, the Aussie. You might know him as Pig. The GM level player of all three races hailing from Australia, which you could have guessed because I called him an Aussie. And that is about as good as my Australian accent gets. Regardless of the fact that I do a lot of stuff with Somicron, who is also an Aussie. I think, hmm, I think subtlety is the key. All right, so Pig is gonna go ahead and throw up his barracks down here, which is, I don't know, a little bit closer to the Protoss player. I think it's more intended to freak the Protoss player out at this point. Holy smokes, he's gonna get very, very close, but yeah, no reason to scout over there, Ranged. No reason at all. Bum, 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 bum. All right, man, Probe comes in, sees the double gas, sees the nothing, nothing else here. There's a single supply depot. Clearly, it's a proxy of some kind. Clearly, I think we're gonna see a Reaper out of this and then maybe move into Cyclone play as Cyclones are very good. In TVP, especially in the early game, we'll see what Pig does with this thing. We've got a Reaper name ready to go. Do we have a Reaper name ready to go? We certainly do. We certainly do. And it is going to be a Reaper, because what else are you going to do with this? Right? What else are you going to do with this thing? You're not going to make Marines with it. I guess you could just bypass things entirely and go right for a factory, but that seems a little bit risky. So, regardless, this Reaper's name is going to be George Bailey. Uh, it was Christmas Eve. George Bailey was at the end of his rope. Ready to throw away his wonderful life. An angel came down and offered to show what would have happened if George Bailey had never been born. Turns out, to the butterfly effect, due to the butterfly effect, uh, what would have happened is a world where George was never born. The Protoss made peaceful first contact with the Terrans. Where are we? We've got to follow this guy. Come back. There he is. The Protoss and Terrans form an alliance, creating a united force against the Zerg and Amon and saving trillions of lives. George Bailey then volunteered for the Reaper program out of guilt for existing. <laughs> there's an Adept already here, though. Reaper's not going to get any kills whatsoever. So despite the proxy attempts, there's already an Adept out here because you know what? There's not an expansion. Range did not go. Well, yes, there was an expansion. It's almost done. But it looks like he did go for the Cyber Core first here, allowing him to get the Adept out sooner and deal with the Reaper, even if the Reaper is proxied a little bit. And free shot there. Got to get out of there, George Bailey. Zoosh, zoosh, paddles! He's got two Reapers now, which is a little bit scarier, but still no match for a single Adept. Adepts are tanky. Adepts do bonus damage versus light, which is what Reapers are. So Pig's done. Pig's done with that. I think he is going to go ahead and throw out a Cyclone there at the north of his base and expand into his natural. This probe has been getting so much scouting information. Ranged knows exactly what is coming from his opponent right now, which is exactly what you want to see and what you want to do here. If you're ranged. Meanwhile, the Reapers do hop on in. They do get a probe kill. That's pretty good stuff. They do manage to hop on in there and kill some things. Two, two probes have gone down. Three probes have gone down. More shots here. One Reaper might die. No, still alive. George Bailey and friend still alive. The Reapers don't actually chase there, surprisingly enough. So Pig, Pig making it work. He's making it work at this stage of the game. He's making tanks. He's working on another barracks here. If you don't follow Pig on Twitch, you should always follow Pig on Twitch, you guys. He's a great dude. He's hilarious. He's a great caster. He's a much better player than I am. Honestly, if it was came like, I just, I don't know. I like him a lot. I like Pig very, very much indeed. So, what is happening, though? What is happening here is the question. Barracks, 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 starport, barracks, factory. So, we're seeing bioplay from Pig. Michael a little bit drop heavy here. Uh, mech is not super viable, as it turns out, against Protoss, just because Immortals counter most of the stuff you're trying to do with mech. Charge being researched here by range. He is also throwing up a shield battery at the front in case something decides to show up. And getting a third. That's a pretty quick third base from ranged. I'm liking it. But I wonder if Pig's going to try to punish it. The thing is, he's delayed because he proxied. So, <clears throat> it's a tough, it's a tough situation to be in here. But army supply is 14 to 12. It's pretty even for both of these players. Both players are macroing their faces off at the stage. Both players are working on a bunch of workers. Pigs at 30. Ranged is at 40, which just goes to show you how good Chrono Boost is. 
But then there's mules to kind of counter it for Terran as well. So who knows? Hallucinated Phoenix wanders on in, sees the number of barracks, sees the reactor, sees the tech lab, sees that we've got actually a reactor on the factory. So maybe that's going to be for Widow Mines. I have to imagine Marine Marauder Widow Mine is what we're going to see here. Reaper's trying to get into the front, but man, that's just, that is a wall. That is stalkers, sentries, adepts, and a shield battery. So George Bailey and friend. Not going to get anything done here at all. Three kills on the one, two kills on the other. George, we're going to give George the three. He's worked hard for that. He's still alive at the five-minute mark, which not many Reapers can say. Pig really keeping these alive, which I'm super-duper impressed with for sure. All right, man. Blink on the way for the Protoss. He's going to go for some Blink Stalker play with Charge Lots, which seems kind of interesting. I really like it. Does he have any other higher-tech structures at all? Just the Twilight Council. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see how this gateway style works against a Marine Marauder Cyclone Tank Widowmine play with medevac support, of course, that Pig is working with. Is he and a Liberator too? Because why not? Really, that's what Morrow has showed all Terrans everywhere. He showed all Terrans everywhere that you just make a little bit of everything. Marines, Marauders, Cyclones, Tanks, Widowmines, Liberators, Medevacs. Probably get some Hellions and Hellbats in there too, because why not? And just a little bit of everything makes a really potent Terran force. They complement each other very, very well. So we've got a single Adept wandering in. Let's see what's going on here over on Pig's side of the map. He kind of missed... He missed the show as Pig's already moving up the center section of the map right now. Is anything scouting this? I don't think so. I don't think there's any scouting at all for range. Let's check it out. Nope, he's blind. He's blind to what's coming up here. This might actually be a huge advantage for Pig. He's going for Concussive Shell and Stim. I think he's waiting for Stim to finish before he really moves in here. Ah, oh, the Reapers both died. George Bailey and Friend got caught out at the third base and subsequently shut down. Now, Pig needs to do something here. He's down a base. He's got a Liberator. He's got some Widow Mines in the mix. He's knocking down. Oh, that debris. So you can't come in this way to help. Can't swing around that backside very easily. Pig being very cautious, sneaking up to the natural. Goodbye, Stalker. Marines, Marauders, and Cyclone enough to deal with that for sure. I don't know. The army's not really responding here. Suddenly, all the probes are running for their lives. There's a cannon trying to help. There we go. Attacking right on in here with the Archons, with the Zealots. The Archons are really the saving grace right here. They don't take bonus damage from anything right now. There are no ghosts. There is no EMP whatsoever. Trying to take it down with Marines and Marauders. They are going to get it just because it's severely outnumber it. Charge lots do warp in. That's a saving grace as a lot of this bio is low on HP. They don't really want to get to a charge lot battle at this point. So decent attack there by Pig, but Range does manage to hold it off there. Nine workers killed by Pig. 54 to 40 still, though. Range has a huge lead. Huge, huge probe lead right now. And that third base, which Pig does not have. Pig does not have a third base at all, but he is does he is working on the aggression. He does have the aggression. Right? Right. Yes, he absolutely does have that. Now, plus two armors coming up for range, which is really, really great for him. Widow Mines! Goodbye, Adept! Well, bam Right in the face. Very much a Zealot Stalker composition, which I don't like. I do like the armor getting upgraded for these Zealots. It's so hard for Marines and Marauders to kill Zealots with extra armor. It's brutal. The Liberator gets picked off. That's a huge deal. The Archon probably going to get chased down and killed, though, which is highly problematic. The Charge Lots need to get a charge up and get on top of this army, possibly with a surround, if and you can at all. That's what I'm talking about. Widow Mines firing, doing some decent hits there as well, but again, chasing Pig back. He's overstimming a little bit. He's only got the one medevac to heal all these guys up, which is not working out for him at all. And third base warping in additional stuff. So ranged is down in army supply, but he's up in worker supply and he's got three bases. Third base is under construction over here on the right side. So Pig finally getting on the board there at eight and a half minutes, which I feel like is a little bit late. And if he hasn't been able to kill a base of ranged, he's in trouble. He's in a lot of trouble here. Uh, I mean, late game Protoss is pretty scary for Terran in general. Templar Archives is done. Have we worked on Storm? Nope, Storm hasn't even started yet. Uh, I guess we could just go Archons if you wanted. They get to trade pretty well. They do good against Liberators too. I can see how Rage would want to stick with that if at all possible. Storm though, against all this bio and everybody's so overstimmed and there's only one medevac. I feel like range skipping out on Storm is a huge problem. He is missing an opportunity of a lifetime right now. Zealot's getting into the third and actually taking down a couple SCVs and maybe a mule. <laughs> good scout and good harassment there from our one Zealot buddy. Fourth base warping in for ranged up here. He's also working on plus one attack. He went again for the armor first. He went for the armor first. Plus two armor on his charge lots and his stalkers. His archons don't really benefit from armor as it turns out. They're really just about the shield upgrade and finally getting storm now is ranged. 
All right, man. So range doing that. Pig is he doing anything differently here? He's got a fusion core, which could just be for advanced ballistics for the liberators to have additional range. Of course, there's only one liberator on the field, so it could be battle cruiser. We could see Pig going for the battle cruiser operational, which I am a fan of. I do love battle cruisers quite a bit. Scout and probe does manage to escape from a marine and throw down a pylon before he dies. We've got ourselves a scouting marine doing the same thing, getting hacked in the face by a zealot and murdered. Straight up, just straight up murdered there. So just a little bit of some scouting trades going on here. Nothing too insane whatsoever. We've got some zealots that are going to try to sneak into the third base while the attack comes into the main. Multi-pronged attack. Ranged knows what he's doing. Look at this. Rawr for ESCVs. Everybody's distracted up here. Range doesn't even want to engage over here. He's just distracting you, forcing a full pull on the SCVs here at the third base. A lot of SCVs are going to go down. It's 10 workers killed by ranged and 5 by pig. Wait, is that the other way around? 5 by ranged and 10 by pig. That's what it is. So, I mean, pretty good stuff. Mule's expiring a little bit earlier and with less resources gathered than otherwise they would want to forward pylon warping stuff in here. Which is beautiful. Just hanging out. We are just uh, da doing the dance. Doing the Protoss Terran dance where nobody really wants to commit. As Storm is done. Are there any High Templar in this composition at all? No. There's four. Here they are. Here are the High Templar. They have joined the party. Eh, storm would be great here. There we go. One great Storm. But the High Templar getting picked off on the right side. Oh my gosh. Concussive Shell Templar down. Other guys are forcing themselves into Archons. Getting attacked here. At the same time, Archon pops out. The High Templar have been removed from the battle. Pig! Really fantastic play there by the Aussie. And actually forcing ranged back here. He's got Guardian Shield up, but he doesn't like what he sees. Fourth base is done. Range is at 71 workers, which is exactly where you want to be. Here at about the 11 minute mark of the match. Pig continuing to make Liberators. It is advanced ballistics for him. Uh, it is not, unfortunately, not Battle Cruiser, but maybe that's a not yet type situation. Range is going for a Dark Shrine. Which uh, feels like, I, I don't know, if, uh, went behind Dark Shrine, but he's up, man. He's up. Well, is he? He's down. Mm, he's down at everything but workers. But being up in workers is pretty nice. Especially in a situation like this, where it's not a base race, right? Having a lot of workers is great for you to get your army up. And actually take the leader here over Pig. Forward Pylon gets discovered. Liberator wanders into a stalker-infested third base. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Fifth base warping into the north base or north section here. Free Marine setting up a small group. Up this left side. Liberator with defender mode. Can't be. Wow. Look at that range. Look at it. Look at these stalkers trying to get that thing. Pig. Oh, no. Is he taking advantage of an exploit? Is this actually unreachable? Wow. That's actually unreachable by defense. That's incredible. Stalker wanders in. Nice blink dodge. Holy crap, a blink dodge. But this guy, 10 kills on this female Liberator pilot. I know I called him a guy. She's a woman, but gee golly, she's killing it right now. Amazing, amazing stuff to be sure. Plus one air attack coming on in. Stalker's finally finished her off. She falls to the depths of this pond. It doesn't look too deep, does it? I don't think it does. I really don't. Ooh, Ghost Academy on the way for Pig. Loving that. Um, very, very much. Plus two attack coming in here too. Feels like we're a little bit late on the upgrades, but he's been doing a little bit of everything. So having like full bio upgrades, maybe not something that's a priority when you're going for this build. All right, man. Liberators are here. This base is in trouble. Where is the storm? No storm at all. There it is. Oh, dropping from the war prisms. Those storms are delicious. They are delicious for Protoss players everywhere. And that's going to help him get through this. Although the Liberators are still alive, and there's nothing left to kill them, unfortunately. Some Archons are coming in. Some oh, There we go. The Archons, bam, bam, thank you. You're out. Marines Marauders still on the warpath here, though. They are fighting strong and fighting hard. Another attack coming up to the third, actually doing some great damage against these pylons. Zealots warping in there are not enough, though. And this attack is getting a ton of stuff done here at the third base. A lot of probes are going down. Suddenly, this range is down to 60 probes. The number keeps falling. The army responds to this, but again... All you got to do is pick up and head to the main base. I say again, I haven't said that in this cast, but oh, full medevac, almost full medevac picked off. That's brutal stuff. This medevac is certainly full. Do you want to try to land somewhere or maybe not land in range of a cannon? Nicely done. Not landing in range of a cannon at all. Trying to kill some of these probes. Picking up, getting on out. No big deal. No energy on this medevac, but it doesn't really matter. 
Unloading again, necessarily. No, Pig decides not to do so. But, okay, so the good news is that Range does manage to save his third base. His fourth and his fifth are happily running. I don't think Pig knew about this until recently. And there's a weird warp gate down here for my range. I'm not sure why. Meanwhile, Pig expanded twice during all of that. Beautiful stuff by him. Expanding while attacking is exactly what you want to do. And pretty much what you have to do if you're going to reach an elite level of StarCraft. Ranged, meanwhile, plus three, plus three on the way for his ground units, which is just gar just gorgeous, gargantuanly gorgeous stuff. Gorgeous stuff here. Plus two, plus one done for Pig. And no additional upgrades here, so I really feel like this is a problem for uh, for Pig. He's got ranged bearing down on him with three, three ground units. Everybody here benefits from three, three. And his bio is just not going to hold up. It's going to take him forever to kill the Zealots. The Archons are going to be right on top of him. The Immortals are going to be crushing from distance here. Mm. Um, 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 um. These guys... Oh, nope, nope. We're not going to walk into that. Thank you very much. That's a buzzsaw. If ever there was one. Marine at the third, for some reason. I'm not sure how he wandered up there. Probably by using his feet. Yeah, Pig's been using Marines as little scouters throughout this entire match. Colossus Tech Switch out of range. Interestingly enough, a drop at the fourth, though unsupported and undefended. Some Zealots do try to warp in, but the positioning is good. Only one Zealot at a time can attack. Range decides to go for it, man. He's coming on in. He does have the plus three armor. No plus three attack quite yet, though. Observer gets picked off. These guys are still doing damage. Getting chased away by a Stalker, though. Oh, don't land in range of this Colossus. He lands in range of the Colossus! Okay, that was not that was like a horrible place to land. Absolutely for sure. It's plus three attack done. I don't know, but there's storm. There's a lot of storm here. Again, the high templar inside the war prism, pretty great. It's a good trick. It's hard to pull off, but in the hands of a good player, it's pretty fantastic. For sure. Alright, man. Orbital command lifting off and running for its life right now. Liberators, the saving grace for Pig. Chasing this armor away almost entirely by themselves. Archon smashed. By this bio. Immortal getting some decent shots off there too. Not wanting to walk into the circles. We still have a Marine up here at the fourth. He's killing probes and nobody's responding to him at all, you guys. Liberator also set up here at the fifth base trying to shut some stuff down. Stalkers can't hit her there either. Big engagement in the center. Colossus fighting. Doing pretty well against all of this bio on the ground. Taking missile tower shots. Missile turret shots here. <laughs> Missile Tower, my Warcraft 2 time is catching up with me. Dude, this Marine, I was going to say, he's racking up the kills. He's got three kills, but he's dead now. Zealots took care of that for sure. All right, man, we're 17 minutes in. It's 138 to 135 supply. Those Stalkers are still not able to take down this Liberator. Only has two kills, but it has shut down mining a little bit here. Uh, actually, there's your circle. What a weird place for the circle. I guess there were some Stalkers who attacked earlier there. Anyway, working on Vikings. Pig responding to the Colossus threat. Very nicely done. Getting some Rotters here, too. Pretty good against Colossus, too. And range production tab is empty right now. He's actually a little bit mineral starved. He's been bothered pretty intensely here. But he is up 73 to 46 workers. 58 workers killed by Pig and 16 killed by Ranged. But the thing is, Ranged has done a better job continuously making probes throughout this game. So he has the higher number, despite having lost the higher number throughout the game. A couple sentries on the way, expanding down this left side again. Range that is going to be his six, the six base Protoss. Pretty intimidating stuff. But Pig never ended up losing these two bases. Uh, Range doesn't actually know about that one. Doesn't know about the one on the right side. Phoenix does take down the Liberator. That's kind of what you need here to deal with rogues like that. Ah, finally scouting it. Range recognizes there is a planetary fortress here now. Attacking on the left side, Range is ready to rock with his three three stalkers. Three three stalkers, man. Hmm. Good stuff. Good stuff for sure. Dark Templar in production. And yeah, no, you don't get another base pig. That one's canceled. Stalker's on top of that before the army can really respond to it. And then the Liberators are here. Liberators are fighting. Liberators are creeping up on your dudes. Get on out. Get on out of there. Maybe... Oh, the Warp Prism gets picked off. There were all the High Templar in there. Uh-oh. Suddenly, it's a Stalker Colossus army versus a pretty darn good army in response to that from Pig. Marines, Marauders, Vikings... Pretty fantastic. Does he have ghosts? He's going for a nuke. That's amazing stuff. Do you have any ghosts? Uh, he's got a couple ghosts. A couple ghosts for EMPs, obviously, and nuke in production. Pig has decided we are late game. It is time to go for late game tech. It is time for a nuclear launch detected style stuff. All right, so range is up. 183 to 175 supply. 73 to 45 workers. Army supply bigger for Pig, but a lot of this is ground. 
which is really bad against these plus three Colossus. I know Colossus were nerfed, but Marines still get shoot to pieces by them if you're in a straight up fight. Marauders, not as much. That Liberator count is just so high. I'm really surprised range isn't tech switching into Tempest at this stage. It's what we've seen. Oh, decent EMPs. Really, really good EMP there. That's going to chase ranged away for sure. Actually, okay. Thought about blinking in there and doing some stuff, but blinked out instead. DT shuts down Pig's attempt at a 1, 2, 3, 4. Fifth base, shut down. Thank you very much. Small force of Pig's sneaking around the north section of the map. Army in position here for range to shut that sucker down. And another attack heading up on the left side. Just these individual little Marauder attacks, little Liberator attacks are really, really adding up right now for Pig. He's killed how many? 67 workers killed by Pig. Attacking up at the north side. Meanwhile, losing this base. Pig loses his Planetary Fortress on the right side. But Range is going to lose two Nexuses. If he doesn't save this one's toast. Can he save this one up here? A warp in. And a nuke at another base. Pig's multitasking is insane right now. Dark Templar are here to try to save the day. They are going to do it. The army for range is just wrecking stuff right now. They are a wrecking ball. Nuke lands at the fourth. How many kills do you have, Mr. Ghost? The answer is 22. And suddenly range is down to 35 probes. No, 35 probes here for range. His army is still fairly unbeatable at this stage. They are scary. They are big. There are seven kills on that Colossus. Attacking on in. I mean, are we? Army supply 132 to 118. A lot of this for Pig is Liberators and Vikings. Planetary Forge is getting focused down, but you don't have Immortals. There we go. You have Immortals. Yeah, get out. Colossus down. Vikings focusing down the Colossus. Really taking out a lot of the DPS available in this army. Pig is stutter stepping his Liberators forward and forward and forward. And chasing ranged away here. This is so good. This is so good from him. Yeah, man. Marauder stepping up. That's not exactly, you know, a great answer there. Blink Stalker is blinking on in. Trying to take out some of these Liberators and some of these Medivacs. All right. So, yes. Range does manage to save his fifth. But, man. How many probes have died? So many probes have died. He's down to 34. But guess what? Pig's down to 16. Holy cannoli. This game is ridiculous. This might get an epic tag before all is said and done. This game has been really, really, really good. If Pig can hold out, it might get an epic tag. But, man, he is just so ragtag right now. 16 workers and his income. He doesn't have a base that's consistent income right now. He's trying to replace this fourth, but uh, not all that great. Storm's here for range. T knows. He just kind of pretty much has to, whoop, just has to wait him out. Dude, this is Hero Ghost. This is the hero of the game. And for Pig in particular, 27 kills. 27 for this ghost. He got the nuke off, and he's been killing probes, and he's going to get hunted down. Oh, there's the cloak. There's the cloak. Do you have a nuke? You don't have a nuke, but again, pro Paras is pretty good. These guys with their plus two. Man, if Pig loses this, again, I just think it comes back to upgrades. He's only got plus two attack and plus one armor. Pig is making three command centers at once, though. Which is pretty amazing. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this setup. The relay he's got. Shift click, shift click, shift click, shift click, 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 click. That's all you got to do here. I cannot believe this ghost. 38 kill ghost, you guys. This marine. These marines are fighting a nexus all by themselves. The army of range is down here in the south. But again, getting chased away by circles. I cannot believe this ghost has been allowed to get 38 kills. He was already the MVP of the match. He's now just solidified his position exceptionally well. All right, pick out this base. He got this base back. He needed to get this base back. He's got it. Range can't really attack this army head on, unfortunately for him. He's making probes to replace the ones that are dead. Finally, a DT shows up and finishes off our ghost buddy. And you know what? We got to count how many kills he has when he died. Because he's got 30. I believe it's probably 38, though. If I had to guess. Because uh, no more probes are wandering up into the range of this sniper cannon. It's not a cannon, but might as well be. Thing hits like a truck. I like how he bounces his head up after every shot. Like, got to realign here. Sorry, ghost. You is toast. <laughs> uh, it's after midnight. I'm a little punch drunk. It's cool. 
single Colossus remaining. How many Colossus have died in this game, Falcon? Well, the answer is four. Four have died, 13 High Templar, 14 Archons, 84 Zealots. Good golly, 110 Marines. It's been a bloodbath thus far in this game, and it's not done yet. It is not over yet at all. Sensor Tower on the way for Pig. He really wants to know where this army is, because if they come up this ramp now, that base is toast. Ah, oh, he didn't go for it. He didn't go for it. Sensor Tower actually now revealing where ranged is. Oh, man. Pig with these little small attacks. Just doing so much work. Able to warp in a Dark Templar here. Holy crap. Really? There's the scan. And there's a dead Marine. Oh, Medivac. Medivac got picked off. I clicked a little bit prematurely there, but dang, that hurts. Pig cannot lose Medivacs. He's got two. He has two remaining right now. Income is 1,300 for ranged, 1,000 for pig. Just because of mules right now. 19 workers, not a good number. As it turns out, dude, just tech switch into Tempest. Just do it. Just make Tempest and wreck this. We saw it. We saw it with special versus patience in a game that I cast last week. Maybe a week and a half ago, where it was just Tempest versus the Liberators, and it was fine. Good EMP there. Well, decent EMP. This base is in trouble. Dude, Pig can't lose this. Pig cannot lose this Orbital Command. He's going to lose this Orbital Command. Focusing it down. The base ends up falling. Pig has... That's it. Pig is done. <laughs> that was his final base. Wow, what a match. What a match, though. But yeah, that was that was his source of income. He had no command centers left over. He didn't have enough minerals to build a new one. And, oh, he did. Hang on. What am I talking about? I'm an idiot. He's got orbital commands. Why did I? I guess I just didn't see them there. What? Wow. All right. Well, yes, he has a lot of orbital commands, but he doesn't have his army supply. He's got 54 army supply, which consists of seven marines, five marauders, Three Vikings and six Liberators, which is fantastic. But his income is in the toilet because he has absolutely no bases at all that are mining. Right? This one, a little bit. There's a couple SCVs here, but otherwise, completely toast. This one has four SCVs, which is fine. But, I mean, it's just not enough. He's not going to withstand the income here and here. And the fact that the army is twice the size of his. The Archons are problematic. The Stalkers are problematic. The upgrades, again, consistently better here. 2-1. 2 one at the end of the game for Pig. Gotta work on that, I say, as someone who's never even approached Master's level before. <laughs> ah, incredible. What an amazing, amazing match, though. Resources lost at the end of the game. 38,000 to 35,000. Range lost more. But he had more bases. He had more stuff to lose. I believe, I mean, look at this. He had 45 probes at the end of the game, despite losing 137. He lost 137 probes in that game. Pig lost uh, 57 SCVs and had 14 at the end. Yeah, I just that's just how consistently range was making workers at the end of the match there. 20 Liberators died. Four Ghosts, 70 Marauders. I just, uh, how many bases? Two Planetary Fortresses, three Orbital Commands. A lot of bases being made there. Good stuff. Good stuff for sure. Really enjoyed casting that. Uh, I really, I like Pig a lot. I know I've said that already. Check him out on Twitch. Check him out on YouTube. He does professional casting, you guys. He gets to cast for stuff like Katowice, which one of these days, that's going to be my goal. Uh, I mean, it is my goal, but that one of these days, days uh, I will actually reach it. All right, cool. Well, that is going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.